Officials have said that the government is likely to approve the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet in the next three months, and the design development and first few prototypes will cost around 15,000 crore rupees, and the stealth fighter jet could be put into production by 2028. The Indian Air Force's modernization map includes procurement of 240 AMCA stealth fighters. The first two squadrons will consist of Mark I version powered by American F-414 engines, while the remaining four squadrons will be raised with a more advanced Mark II version powered by an indigenous engine, that will come with several sixth-generation technologies. It was recently announced that 63 out of the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters will be equipped with the indigenous UTAM ASA radar that has 780 transmit receive modules, and as per latest reports, the RDO's electronics and radar development establishment is all set to start fabrication of three UTAM Mark II radar variant, that will have a bigger antenna and 992 transmit receive modules, and will be first integrated on the medium weight fighter which is set to roll out in August 2022. After successful completion of feasibility studies, the Indian Air Force has now sanctioned the proposal to develop a bigger version of the indigenous UTAM ASA radar for the Super Shukhoi program, and once the project is cleared by the Defence Ministry, it will see the development of a new antenna size which is adapted to the nose limitations of the Su-30. The Indian military's first tri-service missile, the Indo-Israeli medium-range surface-to-air missile took a step towards full-scale production yesterday, as Kalyani Rafael Advanced Systems has rolled out the first components of the 70 km range MR SAM system for the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force from its facility, and will deliver more than 1,000 MR SAM missile kits over the next three years. The joint venture has also expanded its scope to include development of advanced defense systems and remotely controlled weapon system, and is also looking to export it to friendly foreign countries. Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has offered the Mach 4 capable Derby Mark III air-to-air -air missile for the Su-30 fighters of the Indian Air Force. It has an effective range of more than 120 km, and its active radar seeker features look-down capability, that also enables it to target below the line of horizon. The company has also offered to develop a new surface-to-air missile system, by adding an additional booster to the existing LRSAM missile, but there are low chances that the armed forces will go ahead with this proposal, as it is similar to the DRDO's 350 km range XRSAM system, which is all set to start development trials by the end of 2021. A photograph was released yesterday, that showed two Meteor and two Mica missiles on the 14th Rafale fighter jet of the Indian Air Force, that is set to arrive with the batch of six Rafale fighters to India later this month. France is currently integrating Meteor and Mica air-to-air missiles on the next batch of eight Rafale fighter jets, that are scheduled to arrive by mid-April, and will form the second Rafale squadron at the Hasimara Air Base. The Indian Army has decommissioned the 130mm M46 catapult self-propelled guns yesterday, which were inducted in the Army in 1986, and it is highly probable that the Army might replace it by placing additional orders for at least 60-wheeled variant of K9 Vajra self-propelled howitzers with Larsen and Tubro, which has recently completed the delivery of 100 K9 Vajra howitzers. Officials have said that the 4th Scorpion class submarine INS Vela has entered advanced stages of sea trials and will be commissioned into the Navy by the end of 2021, while the 6th and last Scorpion submarine is currently under construction and is expected to be launched into water by the end of this year. Under the directions from the French government, Dassault Aviation has rejected Pakistan's request to upgrade 36 ex Egyptian Mirage 5 fighter jets that it was planning to procure from Egypt. 
The French Defense Ministry has also ordered Dassault Aviation to stop any close cooperation with the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, and Dassault might also stop sending refurbished spares and parts for Pakistan's Mirage 5. The Minister of State for Defense has said, that the central government has collected 26,457 crore rupees by decreasing its shareholding in six defense public sector undertakings, that includes Hindustan Aeronautics Bharat Electronics Limited Bharat Dynamics Limited Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders. India has handed over training aids worth over 22 million Sri Lankan rupees to the Sri Lankan Navy yesterday, that will be helpful for capacity building, and this also reiterates the importance of close cooperation between the two navies as an essential part of the overall bilateral engagement.